No silly intro. No goofy goofiness right now, guys. Just I gotta say how it is. So as you guys see in the thumbnail, um, I'm I myself am taking a big leap out my comfort zone right now and expressing to you guys what's been going on this past month couple months and yeah um a lot of you guys may be wondering why am i doing this but i feel like the message that i'm sending with my clothes line and you know if you follow me on instagram the post that i post on instagram is to follow your dreams and follow the intuition that's inside of you so that you can get to your destination, hit the quarter line DST. And <clears throat> that requires you getting out your comfort zone. So I can't talk about something or I can't be a hypocrite to my own, you know, my own, my own clothing line that I created and the message behind it I can't be a hypocrite to that so I'm gonna tell you guys what's been going on and how uh, how you guys can use this for your for your own self and it's funny because you know today I had a whole plan to talk about you know certain nutritional um, subjects but and then talk about this at the end but you know this but this was just clogging my mind way too much that i couldn't talk about it so i just decided to cut all of that make that a, into a different video later on and just talk about this now and make this a, make this a video now so let's get into it let's get into the dark side of this so um i've kind of i came up with this theory you have three comfort zones. It's, it's, a, it's a big circle, okay? So you have one big circle. Inside that big circle, you have another big circle. And inside that medium-sized circle, you have a small circle, okay? And then, so that small circle, you have a dot that dots you. So, you're the dot, and you're inside that small circle, okay? That small circle right there is your your family my bad your family and you go you go to your family because you know it's your family and you know they're supportive and all that and you tell them your dream that you want to do or whatever it may be if it's going out and doing something that you've always wanted to do dating somebody whatever it may be but you go and tell your family this right because it's your family so that's getting out your comfort zone and it's not definitely not as bad as you are these other comfort zones i'm going to so Family's the first comfort zone, that's the first layer. Second layer is your friends, okay? And your friends, that's a little bit harder. That comfort zone to come out of, that comfort zone to go through is a little bit harder than your family. Cause, you know, we want good opinions and judgments of ourselves from that comfort zone. So, Going through that comfort zone, that's where a lot of people may draw the line and may stop and may say, you know, it's you know not that big of a deal and whatever. So, yeah, that's that's that comfort zone. And then, say that you get past that, you, when you get past that comfort zone, because if you're watching my videos and you, and you subscribe to me, then you're you're going out here and chasing your dreams. But once you get out that second layer get that get out that second circle you have one last circle and that's the world and that's what i'm doing right now i'm making myself very public to the world so i'm right now going through the comfort zone i don't know why i'm doing this but it's, it's supposed to represent me in that little layer right now still trying to make my way out of it and reach to the whole world and whatnot so that's what I'm doing right now. And 
this is what this video is about. It's about me showing you guys, explaining to you guys that getting out your comfort zone is so much more important and imperative than what you think it is. So let's get into what is, okay, so Jamal, what am I, what, what's this comfort zone that you're getting out of, man? Okay, well, about a month ago, I think it was a month ago, maybe a little bit longer, I came out to this girl and take into consideration there's a lot of things going on at this time. Um, stuff with the business, uh, stuff I had to pay for, um, all, this, all this other stuff. And I decided that, you know, face up, man up to who I am, man up to my feelings, and come out to this girl and tell her how I feel. So, I did that, and didn't go so well when Pooter, and just to say the feelings weren't reciprocated. And, oh, I know, I know for a fact a lot of guys, or my, most of my audience right now are guys, so, if, Freaking 10 guys watch this video. I know at least one or two guys have went through this. So you guys can correlate or you guys may be going through this and can take something from it. But yeah, so I, I came up to this girl how I felt and feelings weren't reciprocated, which is fine, you know, whatever people do. What I'm trying to get at guys is that when this happened, plus all the other things that were going on in my life, it just went downhill. And I didn't say this earlier, but I kind of went through this, I'm going through this phase right now where I'm cutting off or like I'm, I'm, it's just happening where I'm losing a lot of friends. And after a while, man, it like that really, I know it's a part of the process where I need to get to, but it really messes with your mental. So, all this accumulated into one thing and it took me downhill for a while and it, it put me in this dark place that everyone has been to i'm pretty sure and it sucked man like it just just i just just hated everything um or i hated i hated the situation i was in i mean i hate everything <laughs> I hated the situation I was in. Um, so, during this time, I I found myself wanting to stop doing what I wanted to do because I just there's a many there were many things going on. Um, I just I just was completely second guessing myself. I was second guessing my why. I was second guessing who I was, or I was second guessing. I was second guessing everything, and that right there was probably the biggest thing out of all things that was affecting what I was doing. Because you guys, everything that you or you think about is straight is it, it, it is your mind it's your mind creating these thoughts and stuff that's not true and for a while I was I was I was down for a while and excuse me I just wasn't happy with my situation that I was in but there was something still inside of me that told me to keep going on and keep pushing. And I don't know what it was. And to this day, I still don't know, but I'm happy that I listened to it. And I just kept on pushing and I kept on going through the pain and the suffering and the mental hurdles that I had to go through that I still, still am going through to, you know, day to day. But kept on pushing and before you know it, days and days just started getting better. 
and you started taking, I started taking control of what I would think about. And I can't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys like what was happening. Like at first, sales and DST, um, YouTube channel, Instagram following, I don't know, what, whatever. It was, it was started increasing, you know? And I was, it was weird because I was questioning, I was like, what's going on? Like, why is all this stuff happening? And like, I'm going through, through this turmoil inside myself. And it ended up just being that this ex all this external stuff that could be happening to you in your life is happening to you, but you have the choice whether or not to keep going through and fighting through the pain and doing whatever you're doing to reach the other side. And that's, that's what I had to do. So I did that and great things happened. Um, sales started going up, but you know, it's telling you sales started going up for DST. That means I was reaching more people. Um, my YouTube channel started to grow, clothing line, I mean, not clothing line, Instagram growing, and uh, fitness vlogging account reached out to me, and I'm actually, I'll put their link in the description box, but this fitness vlogging account reached out to me not too long ago, and asked me if I wanted to be on their website, and what this website entails is just a whole bunch of YouTubers or fitness vloggers who do what I'm doing right now and it's just a growing community and you guys can go on there and just check out all these awesome YouTubers and do whatever you want to do you know all that cool stuff and reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to be a part of the community so I was like most definitely and what I'm trying to say is if I would have stopped what I was doing when times got really hard and my mental was just being messed with I don't think, I, I really don't think I'd be where I'm at right now. Um, I don't think so, I really don't think so. So, to all my dudes out there who may be trying to change their body, change their lifestyle, whatever, whatever maybe you're trying to change or you're trying to grow, keep doing it, keep fighting through it through the pain or the, you know, the, the struggles that are made, that may come and know that at the end of all this, there's going to be, there is a better side to it. And I am literally a walking testimony of this. I'm, I'm, I can't, I'm, I'm more than happy right now. And yeah, so it's pretty late, so I might go to bed, but Thank you guys for watching. I had to, I had to make a whole separate video about this because I didn't, I couldn't I just had to do this. So next video you guys will be seeing will be me talking about simple and complex carbs and which one is better to have. So you guys know the drill. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe to your mama, to your daddy, to your cat, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you.